New York Magazine art critic Jerry Saltz calling on thousands of his social media followers to cut Republicans out of their lives, saying, quote, anyone who voted Republican, including friends and family, you should shun them. No need to even tell them that you're no longer communicating with them or why. Sh wow. I mean, Dana, you got to tell them at least. I mean, how, they're well, not going to get the point. But doesn't he realize he's preaching to the choir? His friends have all of his followers have already done that. He doesn't know anyone in a choir. There's he's a, already shunned them. <laughs> there's there is no possible. Yeah, that's true. There's <laughs> there is no way that anybody that follows him doesn't already do this. They've already shunned. They've They're already shunned. We've been shunned. <laughs> and the. They, then they lament that the trust in institutions has gone down, that there's so much polarization in America. I mean, I, I don't think that this guy is never going to change his mind about anything. He's an art critic. You know, uh, he's a Pulitzer Prize winning art critic, Jesse. I actually, I think I might automatically shun Pulitzer Prize winners. I don't even know. I don't know any of them. Maybe shunned. I'm shunning them. <laughs> I'm going to resist the urge to talk about his physical appearance because... I'm more mature than I used to be. <laughs> well, uh. But I think that goes without saying. That guy doesn't have any friends to shun to begin with. This man is what's wrong with America. Yep. Everybody's fine with each other. You go into a bar. You go into an airport. Excuse me, hold the door. Let me yep. buy you a drink. Everything's yeah. fine. So. This guy is a you know what and if you replace Republican with sh you know shun all the, your black friends, shun all your Jewish friends, Turn that around. How do you think he's, he sounds like a bigot? He's a Republican bigot. <laughs> well, and he has no friends. I mean, I'm in an awkward position, obviously. I, I, I once supported President Trump. Now I absolutely oppose his, uh, his re-election. I, I, oh, you'll come I'm, around. I'm cut, off. I'm cut off on both sides, really, by, uh, by many friends. And not cut off, but I feel a very, very bad vibe. Whatever happened to a pluribus unum? You know, out of out of many, one. We 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 lost that that, uh, that kind of uh, cohesion that we used to have as Americans. It seems to me. And you're absolutely right. These are this. Dana is absolutely right in her point. These are exactly the same people who lament the fact that we have a fractured uh, country, who lament the the, uh, the divisions, and yet they exacerbate every every one of them. Because, Judge, it's a zero-sum game. People live their lives according to politics. I mean, when I was a kid, the, the house I grew up in, my parents were conservative, but I really didn't know it because they never talked about politics. They talked about other things. Look, it, the, the problem is these are the people who create the division, the people on the left. It first happened uh, when Donald Trump got elected and all it was, like, it was like on Facebook, you know, you were unfriended. And all of a sudden, for the first time, I felt this craziness going on in the country. Friends that I had been friends with, people I've been friends with for years, like they don't want to talk to you. If you see the husband in Manhattan on the street, don't tell my wife we said hello. I mean, crazy. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm so sorry I said no, that. Worry. I'm so sorry. It was very vivid. Uh, but very but vivid. the point is that you know, the haters, you know, you got to hate the deplorables. You got to hate the MAGA people. They're fascists. They're semi fascists. It's all about division. You know what? Jesse's right. In this country, we love each other. Yeah. You go to a 7-Eleven, you go anywhere. So Yesterday I see a football player, an African-American, pulling an old white guy out of a car. I mean, we love each other. These are the people who are creating the tension. Judge, Judge Donald Trump <laughs> was friends That's with more Democrats than anybody. Yeah. Very yeah. true.